So today we are going to start the exercise 7.2. For that the introduction is at first part. The it is section formula. Section formula means we have to find in the exercise 7.1 we have find the distance between A and B such points. In section 7.2 if the both of the lines are divided by any point suppose P, then we have to find the coordinates of that. P, which are x and y, we have to find that. For that, we will need the ratio of that, which is m1 and m2. To find the coordinates of P, there is a formula which is known as section formula, which is m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1. Upon m1 plus x2 gives the coordinate x coordinate of the point P, and then m1 plus m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 upon m1 plus m2 gives the coordinate of y axis of the point P and this is the section formula which we are going to use in the exercise 7.2 there is another one more formula for the midpoint suppose we have to find the midpoint between the two given points so there is one formula for that x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2 is the formula to find the coordinates of the midpoint x and y. Note, please pause the video to note down the formulas. Now starting the exercise 7.2 in the equation number 1, two points are given and the coordinates are given to us which is x1, y1, x2, y2 and the ratio of the line is given 2 ratio 3 means m1 is equals to 2 and m2 is equals to 3. We have to find the coordinates at which this ratio was, is divided. So, we have to find the coordinates of x and y. Using the section formula, we will find this m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2. m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 upon m1 plus m2 which is 2 into 4 plus 3 into minus 1 upon 2 plus 3. 2 into minus 3 plus 3 into 7 upon 2 plus 3 which is equals to 1, 3 and the coordinates of x, y is 1, 3. Pause the video to write the solution. In question number 2, we are given the two points and the coordinates that are a and b, 4 and minus 1 and minus 2 and minus 3. And it is told that the line segment is divided into trisection. So there will be two more coordinates, P and Q. Then the line will be divided into three parts, trisection. We suppose that the coordinates of P is X1 and Y1 and Q. For Q it is... Moving to question number 2. In the question number 2, it is given that there is there are points A and B whose coordinates are 4 minus 1 and minus 2 minus 3. And it is divided in a trisection. So means there will be another two points and another coordinates for the two points. So that the line AB, the point AB which gives the line is divided in trisection in three sections. So there will be two points. We suppose that it is P and Q. And the coordinates of P is x1, y1 and Q is x2, y2. So if the line AB is divided by point P, then the ratio means m1, m2 will be 1 ratio 2. And if it is divided by point Q, then it will be 2 ratio 1. Means m1 is equal to 2 and m2 is equal to 1. So line AB is divided in trisection that is AP is equal to PQ is equal to QB. For point P, if the line AB is divided by point P, it divides the line in 1 ratio 2, means M1 is equal to 1 and M2 is equal to 2. Then using the section
section formula, we get the coordinates of P that is x1 y1 is equals to 2 and minus 5 by 3. Similarly, for the point Q, it divides the line AB in 2 ratio 1. Means M1 is equal to 2 and M2 is equal to 1. This means that using the section formula, we get the coordinates of the point Q. X2, Y2 and which is, came out from the section formula, the answer is 0 and minus 7 by 3. So these are the two points and the coordinates which divides the line AP in the trisection. Pause the video to note down the solution. Now question number 3. To conduct sports day activities in your rectangular shaped school ground ABCD, lines have been drawn with chalk powder at a distance of 1 meter each. 100 flower pots have been placed at a distance of 1 meter from each other along AD as shown in figure 7.12 of your textbook. Niharika runs one fourth the distance AD on the second line and posts a green flag. Preet runs one fifth the distance AD on the ninth line and posts a red flag. What is the distance between both the flags? If Rashmi has to post a blue flag exactly halfway between the line segment joining the two flags, where should she post her flag? It is given that 100 flower flower pots are placed at 1 meter distance in the rectangular playground. So that means, and another lines are drawn. So that means it is 100 meter long. So Niharika posts the green flag at 1 fourth of the distance A. So that is 1 fourth into 100 meter long playground. So it means 25 meters. She runs 25 meter on second line. Therefore, the coordinates for green flag which Niharika has posted by running is 2 and 25. Pre posted red flag at 1 fifth of the distance of AD. 1 fifth distance of 100 meter means 20 meter on 8th line. So, for the red flag, the coordinates are 8 and 20. So the distance between these two flags, the line segment we have to find that is GR. Using the distance formula we can find that which is equal to whole under root x2 minus x1, 8 minus 2 whole square plus y2 minus y1, 20 minus 25 whole square which is equal to under root 61 meter. And another question is given that if Rashmi has to post a blue flag halfway between these two flags, where should she close? Means we have to find the midpoint between this line. Suppose A is the midpoint of the line, G, line segment GR. Where Rashmi should post a blue flag. So for the coordinates of A, we will use the midpoint formula which we have discussed in the introduction. That is x, x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. So 2 plus 8 by 2 and 25 plus 20 by 2. That is 5 and 22.5. So Rashmi should post her blue flag at 22.5 meter on 5th line. Pause video to note down the solution. In question number 4, we are given two points and their coordinates and the point of division is given. We have to find the ratio in which it is divided. So we suppose that the line segment, the two points which we are given and the coordinates minus 3, 10 and 6 minus 8 is divided by minus 1, 6, the point of division in ratio k raised to 1. So here x1 will be minus 3, y1, 10, x minus 1, y6, x2, 6, y2, minus 8, n1 is equal to k and n2 is equal to 1 as per the data we have used here. If you only use x coordinate, if you only calculate the x coordinate using the section formula, we get minus 1 which means the point of division minus 1 is equal to m1 into x2, 6 into k plus m2 into x1, 1 into minus 2 which is minus 3 
upon m1 plus m2 is equal to k plus 1. And solving it, we get k is equal to 2 by 7. Which means the line is divided into the 2 ratio 7. Moving to question number 9, similar to question number 4. Suppose that the line segment A, 1A minus 5 and B, minus 4 is divided by x axis. If it is divided by x axis, then the y coordinate of it must be 0. So, so we suppose that the point on x axis is C and the coordinates will be x. We suppose that it is x and the y coordinate will be 0 in the ratio k raised to 1. Here we have to find the ratio also and the point of division also which means x. If you only use y coordinate to find the ratio then 0 point of division here 0 is equal to m1 m1 into x2 k into m1 into x, y2 k into 5 plus m2 into y1 minus 5 upon m1 plus m2 k plus 1 solving it we get k is equal to 1 which means that the line is divided into 1 ratio 1 now to find the point of division we use the x coordinate so x is equal to m1 into x2 m2 into x1 upon x1 plus m1 plus m2 which is equal to minus 3 by 2 so the point of division is minus 3 by 2 comma 0 pause the video to note down the solution Question number 6. The coordinates of 4 vertices is given in the quadrilateral is parallelogram. It is stored in the equation. And we have to find the intersection point where the both the diagonals intersect each other. Suppose it is O and we have to find the coordinates of that O. So here we have drawn the quadrilateral parallelogram A, B, C, D and written the coordinate. Suppose the intersection point is O. Here AC and BD are diagonals. If O is the midpoint of AC, the coordinates are, if O is the midpoint of AC, then coordinates will be x1 plus x2 by 2, y1 plus y2 by 1. That is 1 plus x by 2 and 4. But if the coordinates of, suppose O is the midpoint of BD, then the coordinates will be x1 plus x2 by 2 and y1 plus y2 by 2. But the answer will be different as here it is AC and here it is BD coordinates. So here the answer will be 7 by 2 and Y plus 5 by 2. Both the coordinates are of the same point. So using the equation 1 and 2. 1 plus X by 2 is equal to 7 by 2 for the X coordinate of the point O. And 4 is equal to y plus 5 by 2 for the y coordinate of the point O. So here x is equal to 6 and y is equal to 3. So the coordinates of the O is 6 and 3. Pause the video to note down the solution. In question number 7 it is told that In question number 7, it is told that AB is a diameter and there is a center point of this circle. It is given, we have to find the coordinates of A. The coordinates of B is given 1 and 4 and the midpoint, the center of the circle is given 2 comma minus 3. By using the data, we have to find the coordinates of the point A, the diameter of the diameter of the circle AB in fact we have to find the coordinates of A. Using the midpoint formula we can find that. Because at the center, the diameter center is at the midpoint. So we can use the midpoint formula here. So 2 comma minus is equal to, we suppose that the coordinates of A is x and y here at first. So x1 plus x2 that is x plus 1 upon 2 comma y1 plus y2, y plus 4 by 2. Separating the coordinates x and y coordinates x plus 1 by 2 is equal to 2 and y plus 4 by 2 is equal to minus 3. 
we get x is equal to 3 and y is equal to minus 10. Therefore, the coordinates of the a is 3 comma minus 10. In question number 8, the line AB is given with the coordinates of A and B. And it is given that it is divided by the point P where AP is equal to 3 by 7 AB. So if 3 by 7 AB is there, then the point P divides the line AB in the 3 ratio 4. Because it is the third part of, of total 7. So the point P divides the line segment AB into 3 ratio 4. So here we can use the section formula to find the coordinates of the P. We have used it M1 into X2 plus M2 into X1 upon M1 plus M2 and for Y coordinate M1 into Y2 plus M2 into Y1 upon M1 plus M2. By substituting all the values here we get the coordinates of P as minus 2 by 7 and minus 20 by 7. So here we have completed our equation number 8. Pause the video to note down the solutions. In question number 9, a line AB is given and the coordinates minus 2, 2 and B, 2, 8 is given. And we are told that it is divided into 4 sections and we have to find the coordinates of that 3 points which divides the line into 4 sections. We suppose that the coordinates are X, Y and Z. So, X divides the line AB in 1 ratio 3 y in 1 ratio 1 and z in 3 ratio 1. So the coordinates of the x we will find using the section formula m1 into x2 plus m2 into x1 upon m1 plus m2 in, and m1 into y2 plus m2 into y1 upon m1 plus m2. Using this formula and substituting the values we get the answer minus 1 in 7 by 2 of the coordinates of x. For the coordinates of y, we will use the same section formula and substitute the value and we get the answer 0, 5. And for coordinate y, z, using the section formula, we substitute the value related to z, 3 ratio 1 and 1 and 2. We get the answer 1 and 13 by 2. So here are the three coordinates x, y, z which divides the line AP into four sections. Here we have taken the names according to ourselves by supposing it but we can take another names also. Pause the video to run down the solution. Here in question number 10 the Coordinates of four vertices is given and it is told that they are the vertices of a rhombus. So we suppose that A, B, C, D are the vertices of a rhombus and their four coordinates are written. We have to find the area of the rhombus. We have studied in standard 9 that the area of rhombus, the formula of area of rhombus is equal to 1 by 2 into its diagonals, both the diagonals. So, here AC and BD are the diagonals of rhombus ABCD. We know the formula, distance formula. From the distance formula, we can find the length of AC and BD. We have found it here. AC is equal to under root x2 minus x1 whole square plus y2 minus y1 whole square which is equal to 4 root 2. Similarly with BD, it is 6 root 2. So the area of rhombus ABCD is equal to 1 by 2 into 4 root 2 into 6 root 2. 2 is equal to root 2 into root 2. Means here it will be cancelled out. So at the end 4 into 6 is equal to 24 square units is the answer. Which means the area of the rhombus is 24 square units. Here we have completed our exercise 7.2. For write, to write the solution, post the video and like the video for the next exercise.